Hi and welcome to the section bivariate analysis. So the first topic in this section is introduction to bivariate analysis. So we'll be covering the following topics in this lecture. First, we'll understand what is bivariate analysis. Then we'll take a look at the different graphs that can be used for bivariate analysis. So what exactly is bivariate analysis? The idea is to analyze two variables of your data set at the same time and find any relationship that exists between them. One way is to use the correlation coefficient to find if two columns are related to one another or not. The correlation can be negative or positive or it might not even exist at all. We'll discuss about correlation coefficients in the next video. The primary motive behind bivariate analysis is to find any association that may exist between the two variables or the two columns that we are analyzing currently. It provides a more broader perspective as compared to univariate analysis because in univariate analysis we were analyzing the columns one at a time. So we were not taking into consideration if they were affected by values of any other column as well. Now that we have a fair idea of what, of what exactly is bivariate analysis, let's take a look at a list of graphs that are used for bivariate analysis. In the next video, we'll take a look at some of the graphs mentioned in this list. First up, we have scatter plots. Then you have mosaic plots. You can also use different versions of histograms and bar plots for bivariate analysis as well. Another interesting plot is the heat maps, which we'll see in, in subsequent videos. Basically, you can combine multiple line charts together for bivariate analysis as well. Let's take a recap of what we have learned. Bivariate analysis involves analyzing two variables at the same time. The main purpose is to find any sort of association or correlation between the two variables.